of all, sign up and fill out the log sheet. Check the nitrogen doer to make sure there's greater than 20% nitrogen gas. Otherwise, you may have to change the tank. Also, check the vacuum pump to make sure the oil level is within the limits. Use the touch screen to turn on the lights. Now check and record the oxygen levels. When pumping things into the glove box, use oven-dried glassware and a personal tray. You can also bring solids in using a Kim wipe to cover the material. To open the small antechamber, you must go from the evacuate position to refill. Once the chamber has filled with nitrogen gas, you can now return to closed and open the chamber door. Put the door in a safe place. You can slide out the tray and pump in your material. When closing the door, be sure to align the groove carefully. Please turn the knob until it is finger tight. Do not over tighten the door. Now it's time to pump down the antechamber. Go from closed to evacuate. The first purge can be quick. After that, you can purge three times, five minutes each, for the evacuation cycle. Fill the chamber with nitrogen and end on the closed position. As an alternative, you can also do six quick purges. If you're pumping in volatile compounds, 30 half cycles also work. Turn off the circulator before using volatile solvents, phosphines, amines, and thiols. Z-Way will now demonstrate how to put on the gloves and enter the glove box. Wear a laboratory coat to prevent yourself from sweating all over the gloves. Otherwise, you should clean the gloves off afterwards with some isopropanol. Inside the glove box, you can use Kim wipes to clean off your spatulas. You also use the tweezers to pick up vials and tear them on the balance. This technique will help you minimize the buildup of static inside the balance. Stay focused and keep clean and organized when working in the glove box. Always remember to take out any trash that you've accumulated. And be careful to quench this trash if it contains reactive materials. With the valve in the closed position, you can now open the antechamber door to remove your experiments. Remember when closing the door to only secure it finger tight and return the antechamber to the evacuate position. If you are using volatile or halogenated materials, remember to do a quick purge for at least 5 to 10 minutes. The oxygen level should go down. After 5 minutes of purging, be sure to turn off the quick purge. Turn on the circulator and turn off the glove box lights. You can now sign out. Thanks for watching this glove box SOP and good luck with your inert atmosphere experiments.